Oh, what is good, you two? It's your boy, Rocket Ranger, and today we have got another YouTube first. The first gameplay with Mr. Glenn Rice, the highest ranked player in the sort of historic 90, uh, 90s up to current day. Um, historic set, you know, that weird set where they don't really go with a team. So, yeah, he's the highest rated out of that set. He's 87 overall, and yes, those are his stats. 93 mid-range, 96 <laughs> three-pointer, 94 moving, and 90 moving mid. Yeah, so I thought, um, so I thought, didn't see any, uh, haven't seen any gameplay of him yet on YouTube. Good standing layout, but not good driving layout. So I thought, I might as well do a video on it, because you guys seem to like these, um, these YouTube first, but uh, sorry I haven't been uploading for a while, um, been quite busy, and it's been kind of difficult. Yes, he is exceptionally slow. And he cost around about 20,000 coins, but I bought him with some badges, so he cost me about 23,000 with corner specialist, volume shooter, and dead eye. Uh, he's got limitless range, which is nice, but I want to have that on maxed out. And he has a silver sprite posterizer, which is quite rare. Don't know why he has that, because he only has like 60 dunk on him. So I'm doing a challenge, that's why I've only got two golds and three silvers and the rest of bronze. But can he do the job, really? That's what I want to see. Is he going to bury? Is he going to score? Because. Um, because you guys are probably like, why would I buy Glenn Rice when I could buy KD, uh, Dale Ellis, who's basically the same person, but, like, half the price, uh, LeBron, Carmelo, people that are very similar to like him, but can do more than just shoot, but we're gonna see how good his shot is in a challenge, we're doing the draft class of 2004, which shouldn't be too bad. But hopefully my team of like the Manimal and Boga and I got Chris Paul because I don't want someone that's going to shoot lots of shots. I want him giving lots of assists out to Glenn Rice. But I'm not going to force Glenn Rice to take loads of shots because otherwise it's going to be difficult to uh, win. But as you see there, the 2004 draft class wasn't amazing. Obviously there was Jefferson and Howard, but that's really about it. So yeah, let's go into this gameplay, guys. But he's hard to find. He's... um. He doesn't do a lot of moving, which is very annoying, and Josh Smith um, obviously is not amazing, but he, he, he still get, he still he still contained him very nicely. Oh, he's got that. He's got that. Glenn Rice, step back three, perfect release. Oh, I know he's going to have that beautiful little step back like like KD has. KD, Diamond KD has that same step back. Has a very good step back as well. It's not very fast, but it's very effective. He's not even guarding Rice. What is he doing? Rice is at that wide open shot, man. Glenn Rice. If I think if you get unfazed on this guy and you max out to gold, I f honestly think it's going to be one of the most deadly cards on the game because if you if he's got unfazed, he's just going to he's just going to bury everything because he's, he's his release is pretty quick, because that's what I didn't like about Dale Ellis, is he's just very slow and he's very hard to learn. But Glenn Rice is quick, or it's reasonably fast, and it's very nice. Here we go, Glenn Rice again. Oh, misses. And, and the first one down by seven, not a good game. I haven't been playing much, um, what is it, um, what is it, my team. I've been mean, looking to get to Legend on my, on my park, obviously, because you're going to have that Legend. You, everyone wants that legendary rev. Everyone wants to rock shirtless, but it's gonna be a while now. It's gonna be a while, but so it will. It will be about next month. Oh, Levine, Levine! Oh, get out the fucking way, ref. But yeah, I would. I'm gonna try and do some stuff. I'm gonna try and do a video about the All Star break once the final votes have come up for the All Star game. I'm gonna talk about the Rising Stars because I'm definitely watching the Rising Stars. I wanna watch Andrew Wiggins do some work for the um. For the rest of the world, obviously, I'm going for the rest of the world. Being from England, um, and we got a good team going. We got like Garnas and Dante Bakumbo, um, Stephen Adams. I can't remember the uh, anyone else besides him. Oh, Mirza, Mirza. But I, I honestly think Andrew Wiggins. I love Anadetu Bakumbo. He's an unbelievably fun player to watch. And I really hope he also wins the dunk contest. And I can't remember who else is in is in the um is in the Rising Stars, but I'm gonna find out soon and try and do a video on it. You're gonna sell up? No he isn't, but Glenn Rice pulls up from free! Oh man! I, 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 f maybe I should try him with um Ooh! Ooh, you ooh. That was bad, but yeah, maybe I need to find him with uh, getting on fate uh, an unfazed badge for him. 
because it doesn't seem like it's doing much help for him. Um, pulling up with people, not even really close. They're, they're, they're there, but they're not like right in his face. Oh, come on, use that step back into the manimal. Now we get to see his defense. He's got a B on perimeter defense, which is pretty good. Mate, stay with you, stay with your man, the manimal. Oh, come on, Jamal. No, 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 no. Yes! Man, good play from Jamal Crawford. Use your speed. Take the step back. Oh, all right, here we go. Let me see if he's got his size up moves. He's got a little step back. And another miss. Back to... Oh, bad pass. It's half time. Glenn Rice only with nine points. Man, he's been quite pathetic, actually. So far, I would not suggest buying this man. To slut... Mainly because his speed is not nice. I love... My I got LeBron... Okay, D, I like those players. They are unbelievable. They do work. But Glenn Rice, mate, maybe if you want him to come off the bench. But do you want to spend 18 grand of a, of a, like a player you want coming off the bench as a shooter? Just buy yourself a Dale Ellis for like 6k. They, they are next to, to be honest, they are, they, they are identical. They feel identical. Charge? How is that a charge? He was in, he had to run straight into someone, right into their chest. It hit his arm. Right into his arm. That's a fucking dive. There we go. Glenn Rice getting back into it. Just need to give him some buckets. He, it, I don't, I really don't know what, how you're supposed to, I know you're just supposed to take wide open threes and bang him in, but he doesn't move a lot, to, to be honest. He actually doesn't move enough to, um, to get the freeze. He's always standing there in his corner trying to get, trying to get those wide open shots, but that's not going to happen because it's going to be hard. To draw up to draw a player out, because the AI is gonna know, man. Fucking Howard and a fadeaway, damn. Because the, the, the AI is gonna know not to leave him because he's exceptionally good at the three point line. As you see, they are very very close to him. It's not gonna work. It's it's it, it's so difficult to find his, how good he is. Oh, and look at him. He gave a fucking foul away. When it was Josh Smith, man, that guy is not a jump shot shooter. He ain't, he ain't even that good. You suck, man. Oh shit! I think I'm out of this game right now, and I think so is Mr. Glenn Rice. Um, I thought the guy would be better. I thought he'd be better. I thought he'd be able to land some shots, but he really, really can't. Like, like look at that. That man, like Trevor Ariza. Hand on not RP isn't too far away. Yeah, he is sort of there, but he but someone like him should not be phased by that. He's got 96 three pointers. That's bullshit, man. I don't know. I'll try his running three pointers and do some runners, but he's come off one minute. He's gonna bring him back on for Josh Power. At this, I'm gonna run with the powerful and see if that does anything. But I'm seriously not impressed with him. I do. I will. I'm highly. I'm, don't, I'm not recommending him. I, he, he's not the best player to go for because he's fucking slow. He's bad on the ball. He's not. Um, he's not really good at anything. Yeah, he can shoot. Yeah, he can shoot, but he ain't making them as well. Nah, it's not for me today. And uh, for Mr. Glenn Rice, I don't even see the point in actually finishing this game. And I'm not because we've already lost. I'm just gonna take a look at him. 13 points. One rebound, no assists, no steals, no blocks, two turnovers, shot six of 15. That's round about nearly 30, just over 30%. 33% from the three point line, not, didn't even get to the line. He was just awful. I highly suggest you don't buy Mr. Glenn Rice. I just thought I'd do this video because I didn't know if he'd be good or not. To be honest, it's the first ever game I played with him, but I don't like him. Don't like him. I don't think he'll grow on me. Like, yeah, you get players that grow on you if you play with him for a long time, but it ain't happening with Mr. Glenn Rice. He's so bad. Um, I'm going to send him back to the auction house. So, yeah, that's kind of sad. I thought he'd be, I thought he'd be a good player. I'm guessing that's why he, like, dropped so much, because how bad he was. Like, he was, like, 100k, and then he was, like, 18k, just like that. And now, how much can I sell him for? Uh, I could sell him for about... Mm, he's got badges on, so about 22k. So, if you want him for 22k, go right ahead and buy mine with his, with his badges. So I can get some money back, but seriously, don't buy this guy. Do not, I'm probably going to go back to some park gameplay soon. Uh, so yeah, I've been your boy, Rocket Rager. Please like, subscribe, and the bit guy. And a bit, guys, fuck Glenn Rice. Worst small forward ever.